So, you're at a party and there's helium balloons, yeah? Now, should you breathe in the helium balloons? Is a good question to ask. Now, you know helium's lighter than air. Woo! Oh. 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 Tie this one up. We'll put a string on it. I like Killian Blitz. Right, here we go. Oh! Get <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, it's like having a little pet. Now, helium gas is actually a pretty scarce resource. Helium gas is produced by the radioactive decay of um, uh, elements under the ground. It gets trapped gets trapped at the top of an oil well, right? And so when you drill down into an oil well underground, at the top of the oil is actually a layer of helium gas. And the helium gas is very important for like um, research purposes because you can get very low temperatures when you um, liquefy it. And so you can do lots of experimental work with the helium gas. However, it, woo, once it goes into the atmosphere, it floats up, it gets blown away by the solar wind and we lose it forever and ever and ever. And so, should we be using it, you know, at parties? Should you be breathing it in? I don't need to breathe it in because my voice is naturally like... <laughs> I don't need to breathe it in because my voice is naturally like... <laughs> but here's helium on the periodic table up the top here. And it's in the group eight, it's the noble gas. So technically, it should be non-reactive, okay? So let's see whether it's non-reactive. Now this will obviously pop the balloon, but what will the gas do? Oh, pretty, no, no reaction. It's just like you pop the balloon and it goes like that. But because it's scarce, it's getting more expensive. And so there's some unscrupulous companies doing something a bit different. Now I'm doing this to stretch the balloon. Now the reason is I'm stretching the balloon is because I'm going to actually try and fill it up with this town gas. But the town gas is at a low pressure and it's not strong enough. The pressure's not strong enough to blow up a balloon that hasn't been stretched. So now that it's stretched, you can sort of see that it's like a bit easier to blow up. So here we go. Here it goes. I'm filling up this balloon with gas that we use for our Bunsen burner. Oh. Now, we know that that gas is flammable, yeah? But what people don't realise is that it's lighter than air as well. And <laughs> virtually free. So how do you know that that gas at the party is not like town gas? And worse still, what would happen if you were to breathe it? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't go up there! from a, what you think is a helium balloon, because it could be a flammable, poisonous gas that will kill you. Thanks for joining me today. Make science fun. Hit that, whatever that is, and subscribe button. Okay.